The cell phone expectation that the cell phone should be turned off and put in the student's backpack during school hours. What do you think about the cell phone policy here at Madison Middle School? I think it's a good policy, but I think sometimes it could be too extreme. Do you think it's fair that the principal takes our phone away for the rest of the year if we get it taken away four times? No, I don't think they should be able to take our phones away. I think the most they could do is take it away for a day or two. Have you ever got your phone taken? Uh, no, I have not. Do you think we should be able to use our phones during passing period and at lunch? I think we should be able to use our phones at lunch, but not at passing period, because sometimes kids will get too distracted. There are four offenses for the cell phone policy, which each offense your phone will be confiscated for a set time. What? Phones? Oh. <laughs> be specific. Um, I think, well, I mean, we've, we've created the cell phone policy that we have right now based off of uh, challenges that we've experienced in previous years regarding cell phones. Um, I mean, I do think that, you know, it is strict, but it's strict for a reason. And um, I think it also, you know, sets the expectations up front. And um, by and large, most people are, are on board and, you know, the cell phone can uh, abide by those expectations. Do you think it's fair that a student can get home to Yeah. Uh, and it's not a year, it's uh, the, re the remainder of the semester opportunities for students to uh, make the right choices, right? It's the fourth offense that you would lose your phone up to the semester. And we also clearly communicate all the expectations up front, so there's really, there shouldn't be any questions. Have you ever taken a student's phone, and if, how many? Absolutely. I've taken a lot of phones. I mean, I, I don't keep a running tally. It's not like a competition we have to see who can get the most phones. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to say... 15, 20 phones probably over the course of the semester. Do you think the phone policy could change in the future? I think anything's possible. Um, you know, the, the policies that we put in place are in uh, reference to or, you know, to address challenges that we have. Um, we obviously try and take the easiest road that we can to address our challenges and the issues that we have when, when and if those steps are not effective, then we have to be a little bit more strict and you know, get deeper and figure out what it is that we have to do to um, address those challenges. I mean, I, I do. I think anything's possible. Uh, but I will say that, you know, cell phones are number one a distraction. Uh, they create a challenging atmosphere. They can where kids are, you know, um, too busy on Snapchat or TikTok or whatever it is you guys are doing uh, to pay attention in class. Um, I also think that it's important for people to learn how to exist in that time. Cell phones are not allowed at lunch or during past period. What is your opinion on the cell phone expectation? Um, I think it's a very reasonable expectation. Um, I don't think it's one that should be difficult to follow. Uh, you know, on silent, off in your backpack is where it should be. Do you think it is fair that a student can get their phone taken away up to the rest of the semester? I personally think that a cell phone is a privilege, um, especially for some of the uses that it's used for. Um, as an emergency communication method, we have those at school. So I think if you abuse the privilege of having a cell phone, yes, I think it's totally reasonable to have it confiscated until the end of the semester. Have you ever confiscated a student's cell phone? If you have, how many? Yes, I definitely have. Um, this year, I don't know. Over the entire course of my teaching career, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> but yes, I have. Do you think the expectation on cell phones could be changed in the future? Um, short answer is probably not. I mean, we might modify it slightly, but I think the overall expectation of it needs to be often in your backpack or on silent and in your backpack is probably going to remain. Um, the temptation to check it if it's on your person is just too strong.